Welcome to a guide to a new mod on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Monday the 11th of November and we have a new mod. It's back. The Excavator Leaper 902 pack from Black Sheep Modding is back and looking better than ever. Um, it looks crisper, neater, sharper. There are more attachments. Um, They've worked their magic in a world gone mad with slots um, where everything seems to be 40 plus slots per vehicle. They have managed to do this on a very low slot count, which is only relevant if you're on console, but it makes a big difference. Um, as you can probably tell, I'm happy and I'm excited that these are back for a, quite a few reasons. Um, one, when you're doing Let's Play storylines, narratives, adding these into the game, love it, absolutely love it but also price like i say slot count a whole host of reasons um let's get straight into it we have got attract 902 the r902 and then we've got the 902 which is the wheeled version we've got quite a few options available on these um these mods like i say compared to the fs17 version they look leaner trimmed more detailed um not that they were blocky before but I don't know, they just they just look, the tracks look more detailed, more delicate's the wrong word, but I don't know, yeah, I don't know, I just, very, very nice, and the fact we got options on colour, um, not a massive array, but enough, again, to kind of personalise your vehicles, quite a few attachments available on these as well, Very cool. We'll have a look at them actually in operation in a moment. And as you might have noticed, swinging backwards and forwards, we've got a tree harvester header. That will make a big difference. So, in store, we will find the vehicles themselves under miscellaneous. We've got the Liebherr R902, which is the track version, 90,000. That's all. 90 grand. That's awesome. Um, options available. Um... Actually, it doesn't say what the horsepower is. I don't suppose it's relevant, really, what the horsepower is. Um, so, options available. We can change the main colour from yellow to orange to John Deere green. Green forest, black, and there's a secondary black. If you do that, like I did with the other one, you've got yourself a kind of like a John Deere leap hair cross. I seem, people seem to be obsessed with the whole uh, John Deere thing as it goes. Um, but with options to change the rim colour as well so you can really kind of mix up to whatever you want. Now as far as design goes on the tracked version we can have standard or forestry. That's it. But the attachments is where this these things kind of come into their own. This will only go 5 miles an hour. I'm sure it's set out on the main one. Oh no the other one goes 8. Yeah 5 miles an hour. It's not fast. It's a tracked vehicle. You're probably better off putting on a low load or something like that but that said. Now that one is only eight slots when you think some of the vehicles we've had have been like i say 40 50 slots bear in mind what it does with the rotation the movement of the you know all the all the different bits of the crane arm and stuff like that eight slots that's incredible black sheet modding have, have done it brilliantly so then we've got the leaper 902 which is the wheeled version that will go at eight miles an hour i'm sure on fs17 didn't they have like a a turboed version that went a little bit faster was it 14 Again, I might be imagining that, but yes, only seven slots for this one. Eight slots and seven slots. That's brilliant. Options available. We've got a few more on the 902. We can change the main colour to the options we just talked about, like so. We can change the rim colour if you want to. That's just not a bad. I thought I was, initially I thought, well, that's going to look horrible. That's not too bad. Configuration. Um, we can have standard. We can have with front support. Now, the with front support gives you the um, oh, legs, I suppose. Yeah, the, put them down, stabilises the whole platform, lifts the wheels off the ground um, for operations. So you can have with front support or standard. It comes standard with the rear one on already. If I take that off, it already has the rear one, but it adds the front one. Uh, wheel brown, we can have Trelleborg, or we can have Nokian Communal. We go back to Trelleborg, we can have standard, which is kind of a double tyre. Um, we can have narrow tyres, which puts smoother 
narrow tyres on or we can have wides which raises it up a little bit and just gives you a single tyre but it's a wide version of that tyre it looks narrower than the other version but the other one has got it's two tyres and then back to standard again so let's say that's two tyres that's the wides again it depends what you want to go with but that wide one does lift the whole rig up a little bit further then design we've got standard or forestry and those are your options available as far as equipment goes with this, again, we're in miscellaneous and we have got the Liebherr Universal Bucket at 2,000 litres. Again, we can change the colour to match whatever particular version you're going with. And design, we can have standard with a smooth front or with teeth, which is the same on the Universal Bucket, 4,000 litre, double the size. Uh, same options are available, but it does do all those crop types. It does fertiliser and it does seed and it does pig food and manure and lime and everything. Um, again options on colour and we can have standard or with teeth then we've got the brush and log fork now we've got two of these same price same slots now each of those so far have been one slot each not again not bad on the slot count we can change the colour on these as well for our main colour if we want to to match whatever we're going with the difference between these two is one's got a solid attachment and it will swivel um, from the joint beneath this one has got a ball joint connection which allows kind of more swing in different directions it just depends which option you want to go for really with that one then we've got our leveler the leveler is five slots for the first one i think you can have that on front or rear you can have it as a leveler you can have it as a plow for pushing logs um, you can actually lower it down enough so it lifts the vehicle off the ground a little bit so because the uh, r902 doesn't come with um, legs that lift it off the ground you could kind of use those to stabilize the vehicle if you wanted to only 3000 and again we can change the color this for me is the important one i mean they're all important depends what you're going to be doing but the leap uh, tx52 um tree harvester cutter head whatever you want to call it um, again we can change the color but for 10 grand you add that to either one of those machines you're looking at a hundred thousand you've got a tree harvester for a hundred grand that's the cheapest tree harvesting package you can get unless you lease of course um that's brilliant that again that gives you options you can kind of get into doing forestry work or if you're just clearing your land or whatever you want to do fairly inexpensively fairly quickly now it does say this machine can cut down trees note very large trees cannot be processed so how far up that header will go on trees i'm not too sure at the moment um, but that for me that's a big one then we've got the universal bucket that's kind of more um uh, like a sugar beet type bucket open sided and we'll do all the, these crop types but here's the thing with this one you can change the main color what we can also do is we can have it standard or we can have it with grain support so it just ends up becoming like a big bucket 3500 litre very cool bit of kit so quite a few options available uh, let's jump into this one first start it up let's raise the crane arm up sounds brilliant it just all seems a lot smoother now at the moment i'm on playstation controller l1 and right stick side to side will give you your swing side to side right stick up and down will raise that up and down that's on l1 r1 and my right stick up and down will open and close it like that side to side on my stick will bring the bucket in and out so combinations of we go L1, R1. I've got no movement at all. But if I go, I think it's R1 on my left stick. It might be L1, R1, left stick. Oh, there we go. So if I go L1, R1, and left stick. That's my kind of dozer blade. But like I say, if you bring that right the way down, it does lift the tracks off the ground a little bit. So it gives you a kind of more stable platform if you want to go with that option you don't have to but you can do if you want to um beacon lights camera angles in cab 
by the side of the crane arm and back out again. From in cab though, if I turn the lights on, and we go through our light cycle, like so, beacons on, we get a beacon symbol as well, indicators. Plus the audible beep, which I'm quite liking. I like it a lot. I, I really do. I liked it on 17. I think I like it even more. It, it seemed every now and again, I'm, I'm not saying there may not be issues. There may be slight glitching issues, issues with maps, mod. Sometimes we get mod conflicts and stuff like that. Um, but from what I've looked at, what I'm doing with it at the moment, if I press L1 and X, opens the door like so loving it right so let's look at the tree harvester one so I've got that on the 902 start it up so L1 R1 and my left stick bring those supports up and I'm able to drive like so. Same cr uh, crane controls. I've got my up and down, I've got my side to side. Then on my right, uh, R1, and then stick up and down. Now L1, R1, I can rotate the head like you can do with most harvesters, tree harvester headers. I can turn that on, like so, which will turn it on. But I'm going to open the help menu because under cut length, if you look top left hand corner, if I change my cut length now, that's showing numbers, not because I'm on PC, I've got my side panel plugged into my PlayStation, that's why it will give me numbers, but if I do L1, I can still do it with my PlayStation controls, it just gives me options on my side panel instead. Um, so if I scroll through, we can go cut lengths all the way up to 12 metres. So it doesn't stop at 8, it goes all the way up to 12. Rather handy bit of kit. For a hundred thousand, you've got yourself a tree harvester. I love it. Like I say, you do get a bit of sway on this, and you can imagine if you're doing logging, and I'm bringing that arm in and out, and you've got a lot of weight on that, hence the reason for having the leg. So L1, R1, and left stick. Bring it back down again take the whole off the floor and it just gives you a much more stable platform when you're operating obviously it depends how gentle you are with the controls but I love the fact we've got a harvesting header tree harvester tree cutter however you want to call it I know people always club me and go it's not harvester it is it harvest trees whatever um, so trying to think that was the cut length on that that was all of that um we have got just close that off on the back and i think on the front of some of them it depends which one we've got trailer hitches so i did it with this one trailer hitch on the back will hook up to a variety of trailers it won't do all trailers again that's gonna be one of those ones there are so many trailers in game so many modded trailers in game it's going to be a case of just having to play around and seeing which ones will hook up and won't hook up um, but if you're going to do forestry or you're going to do you know, digging a hole or moving crops and you want to bring a trailer with you, you absolutely can. You'll hook onto the back of that. Just a different configuration, doing this black and the yellow. And then over here, I've got this with the brush and log fork on it. Mixed and matched and I've gone with the front blade as well. Start it up. 
open the door, swing it round, but so like I say, the other one of these has got a ball attachment. So when you lift it like that, the ball attachment will allow it to swing. Um, this one, we can rotate that way. And then in and out and forward and backward on that as well. A whole range of motion, it's just brilliant. Um, and then we've got... Get that right. That's weird. Oh, there we go. Now if I turn around into the light, wouldn't it? That's better. The controls do seem very intuitive. I dare say, as with a lot of grabs in game, it can get a little bit twitchy with too many logs in and that kind of thing. I don't think there are straps. No, not that I can tell. But very cool. Very cool indeed. I like this mod. In case you couldn't tell. Now what we'll do very quickly is just whiz over here. Bear with me one second. And here in front of me we've got the other heads. That's the smaller one, that's the 2000 litre bucket and that's the smooth front without the teeth. Um, that's the other grab, you see what I mean about the ball joint connection there. It will still rotate on this bottom plate. Is it a swash plate? Is that what they call it? I'm trying to think now, I think it's a swash plate. Uh, but the grab is exactly the same and then that's the one that will open and close. Uh, clasp into the middle for taking your crops um, and that's that's it that's the excavator leap pair 902 packed by black sheep modding a triumph as far as i'm concerned and that is my own personal opinion you may not agree but i love it um i hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do Thanks for watching.